So when you find that stuff that you love, that you do for free, you're going to hold on to that and you're going to work on it. It all started with an idea and somebody had the big enough balls to go ahead and implement that idea and turn it into something through discipline, through strong mindset and not caring if they fail. If you're not prepared to fail, you are not prepared to succeed. You must want to fail, but yes, you must want to struggle. And if you fail, that might even do you some good because you come up. I failed many times in my life. But before we move forward with this video, please, guys, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you guys got to do to help your boy grow. You guys know I need that love. All right, let's get right into it, guys. So today I want to talk about your nine to fives. All right, your nine to five. Why are you still at these nine to fives? What is so comfortable? What is so lovely about your nine to five? Your nine to fives doesn't care anything about you. So why do you care so much about your nine to five? As you guys can see, I'm not in my normal, my regular environment. I'm in Dominican Republic. I'm in my crib. And coming here, every time I come here, puts things into perspective. It changes. It always puts into my mindset why I started what I started, why I do what I do. I am, I, like I tell you guys, I do have a nine to five myself. I work in a high school and I absolutely hate my job. Every morning I wake up, I dislike it. Every minute, every hour I'm there for those eight hours, I highly dislike it. I don't like kids. I don't like working with kids anymore because it's like you're working for kids. And as you guys know, I'm, I'm in DR, so you're going to be hearing all these motors, dogs barking, chickens burping. It's crazy over here, the noise, the noise pollution. But, you know, I love it. I'll take it. Remember, guys, why is it that you are so comfortable in your nine to five? What is it about your nine to fives that you love so much? Why is it so comfortable for you to wake up every day at a nine to five and show up on time, leave late? Like if you're Kobe, like if you're training for the fucking world champion, it's not how it's supposed to be. Unless, this is how you use your nine to five. Let me show you how to use your nine to five. You go to your nine to five. You wake up, you hate this motherfucker. You hate your nine to five every single day. Every minute you dare, you hate it. You know why? Because it won't allow you to get comfortable. It won't allow you to stay there and be great and let your bosses and supervisors manipulate your mind into thinking that you're a better person at that job with them then you're better off without them you need to focus on how to get the fuck out of there by using this job and hating it. every day you need to be setting aside plans of how you're going to be strategically leaving this job whether it's by finding a little a better job and it's going to help you elevate then i fucking hate jobs but if it's going to help you elevate and get you to where you got to go and learn some skills so that you can branch off by yourself i absolutely dig that but don't you dare go from a nine to five, quit that job, and then go to a lower nine to five or to a job that is the same equal just because they treat you better. What you need to be doing is using this nine to five every day to humble yourself. Once you're finished every day with nine to five job, you're going to go to the gym. You have to hit the gym, right? You work on yourself. You have to work on yourself every single day. You work on yourself. No excuse why you're not working yourself. You hit the gym hard. Not like these people that go to the gym and they have 10 hour conversations or where they, or they're on the phone with the significant others. If you're on the phone with a significant other at the gym, that's like how you get cheated on, bro. Why are you talking to a significant other at the gym? Leave that shit for after the gym, before the gym, later on at night. You have work to do. You shouldn't be talking to nobody at the gym. You should be concentrating and focusing. So when you're going hard at the, after you finish going hard at the gym and working on yourself, you then go home and start working on your side business. You start working on shit that you love. You've been doing stuff all day that you hated, like going to the gym. I hate going to the gym. I hate fucking having a job a nine to five. But what I absolutely do love is money. I love coming home. I like to think and grow rich. So what do I do? I work on my side businesses. I have three different side businesses. I do own a laundromat. I own vending machines. And I do wholesaling houses on the side as well. Just a side note, I will be posting up some wholesaling videos of me doing live cold calling. I did get my wholesale strategies from Zach and Rick Jin. So if some of you guys do wholesaling and are into it, go ahead and follow your boy because I'm going to be showing you guys how to not be scared of cold call and get rejections. But now bring it back to after. So you working on your side hustles on yourself. So you're going to go home and start working on your side hustles. I don't care what it is. You have to find something that you love doing and that you don't mind if you don't get paid for it. So like this, I make videos for you guys, motivating you guys. I love motivating people. I love telling people 
how they're not doing good and they should be better, they can be better, or how great they're doing and they need to keep it up. Don't ever give up. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do it for free and I will continue doing it for free. That's why I'm putting these videos out and giving you guys uh, this content because you guys need to hear it. I'm not this young stun. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not where I want to be in life yet, but I will be through hard work, determination, and discipline. My mindset has been changed, has been configured to win, and I will die. I don't mind failing, but getting back up and getting back on the grind is what I do, and this is what I always do. So when you find that stuff that you love, that you do for free, you're going to hold on to that, and you're going to work on it every single fucking day. It's not going to be a day that you don't work on your craft. It's not going to be the day that you don't go to the gym and think about how to think and grow rich. If you don't have this book, you guys need to go get this book. It's one of the best books all time. I've read it once. I'm on my second time reading it. And uh, yeah, you need to read it at least two, three times to fully grasp it. But man, I love this book and every one of you guys should be doing the same. So when you figure out what you want, what you want to do, implement it. Don't just think about it and tell people what you're going to do. Don't tell people your goals. Start working on them immediately. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until the next day. Work. Start working on that idea that you have immediately. Everything that you see around you, everything that you touch, everything that you have seen, bought, touched, sensed, it all started with an idea. And somebody had the big enough balls to go ahead and implement that idea and turn it into something through discipline, through strong mindset, and not caring if they fail. If you're not prepared to fail, you are not prepared to succeed. So, but yes, you must want to struggle. And if you fail, that might even do you some good because you come up. I failed many times in my life. You think that me owning a laundromat came easy? You think that somebody, a landlord, just came out of nowhere and said, here, here, Ralph, you look like, like you'll be a good laundromat owner. I never owned a laundromat in my life. Never owned anything in my life before a laundromat, but I played the game like I did. You have to play the game. You have to be disciplined. You have to be focused. And you have to go at life with everything you have. Again, if you guys are looking for a millionaire to tell you how to get to places where you want to go, this is not the channel for you, all right? But one thing I do know is that you will be better than you were yesterday if you focus on your goals and you go after what you want to do and you go after them with everything you have. I, like I tell you guys all the time, I come from Harlem, New York. If you guys don't know Harlem, New York in the 90s, a 90s, it was one of the capital, it was one of the murder capitals of the world. And now it's super gentrified, so it's like for the wealthy now. It's crazy. But. If I would have, man, if I would have knew about a real estate back in the days, anyone invested in Harlem in the 90s, early 2000s, even in the early 2010s, man, the flip that they will get now is insane, incredible. But yeah, I just had to get this venting off my chest because, you know, being here in the crib and DR, I literally collect money. I'm making money while I'm chilling. When I'm sleeping, I'm making money. Again, I'm not rich. But I was, I grew up, and I didn't grow up dirt poor. I'm not going to tell you guys that I grew up with a fucking me scavenging for food every day. No. But one thing I didn't have was a silver spoon in my mouth. One thing my mom wasn't going to do was spoil me and give me everything I wanted because once she didn't have the money to give me everything I wanted. So what I do, I learn how to grind, hustle, and work for it. Some, a lesson that I didn't lose and a grit that I still have to today. So with that being said, guys, remember, fuck your nine to five. Find a way to strategically get the fuck out of it and work on yourself, meaning the gym and your side hustles. You do these three things and I promise you guys will be good. But don't you dare quit your nine to five without a plan. There's a lot of people out there and you see on YouTube, I quit my plan without nothing. No. If you have a lot of money saved up to pay your rent for a few months, all right, go ahead and do that and focus fully on you. That's fine. That's, I love that. But if you don't have a dime on you and you're talking about I'm going to quit and not, no, no, you're fucking up. You're doing it wrong. You have to have a plan before leaving your 9 to 5 and do your shit. All right? So, again, guys, you guys already know who it is. It's Ralphie here, host of your One Throne podcast. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, whatever you guys got to do to help this page grow. And I swear I'll be back putting up more content. I love you guys. And remember, change your mindset, change your life.